I've had conversations, private conversations taken to the press and totally manipulated for the benefit of the person who was sharing the story. This happens all the time. So last night's Democratic debate, the last debate before the Iowa caucuses, was horrible. The debate moderators asked dumb questions. They were robotic. Uh, the responses weren't terribly interesting either. Uh, none of the candidates really stood out. It was just a bad debate overall. I'm going to have a more comprehensive breakdown later, though, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure what clips I'm going to pull from this debate because there isn't really much to work with. Um, but one highlight from the past couple days out of all the horrible news that's been going on is Morning Joe's coverage of this Warren Bernie drama. So I'm going to show you uh, two clips here, and I'm also going to discuss why this matters because actually before i even get to these clips this matters because voters over 45 many of them um especially voters over 60 get almost all their news from cable news so when you are in a uh an environment like this where your information is coming from you know one or two sources that are on television it is vitally important that messages like this that that ob actual objective coverage, occasional objective coverage for Morning Joe, it's important that gets out to those uh, kinds of voters that are not going online, you know, engaging in, in political news, are not watching YouTube videos, but are simply watching cable news. It's important that these certain stories um, are covered properly. So I have two clips here. This first clip is actually one uh, from yesterday. This is before the debate, and uh, they're addressing the manufactured drama uh, that the Warren campaign created against uh, Bernie Sanders. And they're talking about some private conversation <clears throat> from 2018. And I'm not getting in like on anybody's side, but do any of us really believe that Bernie Sanders is going to say, I don't think a woman can win, Elizabeth. Nobody's going to come on. Who's going to say that? And he certainly wouldn't say it to Elizabeth Warren. Well, that's what I'm saying. Who's going to say that? We shouldn't underestimate just how tone deaf Elizabeth Warren can sometimes be on the stump. She's great at policy, but her political touch is not as good as as, as you might think it, it, it would be. And I, I think this latest leak from somebody close to the Warren campaign, fairly ill-disguised fingerprints there from the Warren campaign that, that, that Bernie told her, 13 months ago, a woman couldn't win, um, mm -hmm. is an example of that. You know, it's cl clearly quite close to closing bell, three weeks to go, uh, a fairly a fairly nefarious um, account of a conversation that no aides were present at, just two of them, uh, Warren and Sanders in the room, comes out at this time, um, and then she issues a statement saying, let's move on. You know, I think that that's the kind of thing that probably could end up even benefiting Bernie Sanders, because yeah. he's, you know, he, he's seen as the Mr. If authenticity, Mr. Integrity, yeah. many faults, but those are seen as virtues. Choose. And I think that partly explains why this extraordinary story, this 78-year-old with two stents, could be winning the first two contests in the 2020 Democratic primaries. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought the statement from Elizabeth last night was interesting. He did it. Let's move on. So unlike a lot of cable news coverage of this story, Morning Joe is actually casting doubt on Elizabeth Warren's take because they understand that her campaign planted this story. And actually, they're going to go a little deeper on that in the in the uh, the next clip. But this is what you unfortunately don't get usually from the mainstream press. Their coverage has been so one-sided on this story, even though her campaign leaked this BS story so that it blew up right before the debate, right before the Iowa caucus, to in an attempt to help Elizabeth Warren, ultimately, as they say here as well, I think it's only going to help Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden. Um, but Warren's political instincts have been terrible. And look, I don't want to rehash everything I've said over the past couple of days on this story already, so I'm not going to do that. Go back and watch those videos if you want my full analysis on this entire thing. Let me get to um, the next clip here, where uh, this is. So this is where. Bernie and Warren addressed this drama on stage at the debate, and then you're going to see Morning Joe's response to that. Why did you say that? Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this, because this is what Donald Trump and maybe some of the media want. Uh, anybody knows me. 
knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. Go to YouTube today. There's a video of, the, of me 30 years ago talking about how a woman could become president of the United States. In 2015, I deferred, in fact, to Senator Warren. There was a movement to draft Senator Warren to run for president. And you know what? I said, stayed back. Senator Warren decided not to run, and I did, I did run afterwards. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three million votes. How could anybody in a million years not believe that a woman could become president of the United States? So, Senator Sanders, Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? I disagreed. Bernie is my friend, and I am not here to try to fight with Bernie. But look, this question about whether or not a woman can be president has been raised, and it's time for us to attack it head on. Um, and I think the best way to talk about who can win is by looking at people's winning record. So can a woman beat Donald Trump? Look at the men on this stage. Collectively, they have lost 10 elections. <laughs> the only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women. Amy so and me. I, I am completely confused as to why it turned from Bernie Sanders saying I didn't say it to Elizabeth Warren being asked, what did you think when he said it? He says he didn't say it. So you, you turn to Elizabeth Warren and say, did he say it? Right. That's the issue. That was bizarre. I mean, it's bizarre. It was. What the heck happened there? Are, are, are they listening? Because you got to listen when you do a debate. Yeah. And then take the question to the next candidate. You just missed. Uh, it was I mean, a miss. Yeah. Just, just, were you waiting but, to go? But did this he is say the story. Yeah. It was a miss. Yeah. It was and it's also mess. painful to watch these candidates argue about this, Corinne Jean Pierre. Um, these Democrats are supposed to look like they can take on Trump, and they're bickering about a conversation that happened at a private event. By the way, I've had conversations, private conversations, taken to the press and totally manipulated for the benefit of the person who was sharing the story. This happens all the time. It's clear there's a misunderstanding, or Elizabeth Warren is focused on something that was said. And, and Bernie Sanders is not going to be someone who says, I don't think a woman could win. That's just stupid. Right. It would not I mean, be smart. Well, 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 you just well, didn't say that. Also, in, Bernie went to her in 2015 and yeah. said, I mean, hey, I think you can win. I, I think know, you should yeah. run for president. This is one, a one, terrible one, yeah. issue to bring up. This is such small ball. It, it is. And, and we have to remember the Democratic base doesn't want to see this. They want to know, how are you going to beat Donald Trump? That's what they want to see. Uh, but I have to say, they, I think both of them tried very hard to de-escalate. They didn't want to continue the fight. And I do have to say that Elizabeth Warren did a really smart job with broadening it and talking about the kind of the underlying what's been on the surface can a woman win uh the presidency which she can but something that's been there for since 2016. But this is not about that this is about beating trump and I, their I eye agree. is I way agree. off the ball i agree and by I the agree. way there are several women uh, on the debate stage there are many women who ran for president this time around we're in a different place now let's stop complaining and get to work shocking clarity i mean look I cover the media and I cover Morning Joe when they manufacture BS. Um, I've done it quite a few times. I've covered them when they've said something stupid. And I'm going to cover them when, they, when, they're, when they're right. So they got this right. And I guess it really shouldn't be like, I shouldn't be giving that much credit here because all it is is common sense. I mean, you look at Bernie's history, videos from back in the 1980s, him saying that a woman should run for president and a woman can win uh, and be president. Um, he tried to get Elizabeth Warren to run in 2015. The only reason Bernie Sanders ran it in 2016 is because Elizabeth Warren didn't want to run against Hillary Clinton. I mean, go down the list. It's obvious. And when you compare Bernie's history to Elizabeth Warren's history, Elizabeth Warren has a long history of essentially distorting reality for political reasons. So I went through this list on my live stream yesterday. I don't want to read through the whole thing because honestly, it may take like five minutes <laughs> to read through this whole list. But Elizabeth Warren 
has lied and lied and lied and lied for political benefit. I'm going to link to that article, that article in Current Affairs. Current Affairs is a great website. Check it out. Nathan J. Robinson, one of my favorite writers right now. He does amazing work. Um, check that article uh, below the video after you watch this, this video because it goes through it. It goes through it in detail, all the different lies that Elizabeth Warren has told for political benefit. Compare that record to Bernie Sanders. So, yes, I'm going to give Morning Joe credit here, but also <laughs> it's common sense. And the media that is reporting on this uh, on the other side and trying to act like Elizabeth Warren is telling the truth here are just they're not giving you any of that context. And I think most people seeing this, not even just, you know, Morning Joe's coverage, but most people watching this from home, watching the debate on television last night, you could tell. I mean, Bernie has a 40-year record of being authentic, of fighting for the same thing, of not having these these lies of distorting reality for political reasons. He, he, he doesn't do this. Elizabeth Warren does this. So, and you look at the moderator. I mean, I'm glad Mika called that out. Uh, again, credit here to, to Morning Joe and the panel and, and Mika Brzezinski, especially here, for mentioning how, how can the moderator, after Bernie Sanders just said, no, I didn't say that, turn around and say, Elizabeth Warren, what did you think when he said that? As somebody who is the moderator, you should be treating this issue as, uh, or you should be looking at this issue objectively. Because the moderator wasn't there. She doesn't know the facts. The only people that were there is Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders. They are the ones that had the private conversation. So as a moderator, you have to step back and take the neutral position in this case and look at each side. Even though I think all the evidence is clearly on Bernie's side, the moderator has to be neutral here and say, Elizabeth Warren, what happened in that room? What, what, did, he, what did he actually say in the conversation? Quote him. What, what did he say? Elizabeth Warren was never pressed on it. So... I hope this is the last time I got to talk about this. <laughs> um, I'm sure I'll mention the, the stupid handshake drama in my breakdown video as well, though. Uh, but ultimately, while a lot of the media, and especially CNN, has been completely um, distorting this entire story and sharing it from the angle of Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth Warren's view, you at least have one cable news show <laughs> that a lot of people watch um, being objective on this uh, report.